Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Timmy and if it's your first time here, welcome. Hope you're here to stay. Please remember to subscribe to my channel like you wouldn't. Subscribe, like this video and um, give this video a thumbs up. Today I'm here with my friend TK. I wouldn't be calling her full name because she's a mouthful, so her name is TK. We are both PMs in the United Kingdom and we are here to tell you how we started our journey in or is it in or on becoming a journey of becoming of project. becoming a project manager in the United Kingdom because it's kind of the same you know way yeah. or parts we took. So first things first, we're going to be talking about scripts, scripts. I have a script, <laughs> so I'll be looking down. <clears throat> so um, like what we did. Uh, in our BSc and MSc, like a little bit about our uh, educational background. So we went in school, actually, my first degree. So anti talk now. I don't know what I'm supposed to talk now. <laughs> we, 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 we both studied. Um, yeah, we both studied um, estate, estate management, management in Covenant University. I think we, we both wanted to do architecture, but <laughs> but people decided that well, we don't look like architects. Then I say, oh, I think it was full. It was more like the I don't class care. Was full. I don't care what the problem was. But why would I want something? And then you decide that oh no, <laughs> tell me that it's not available. And let it be. You did, I eventually got it. Like when we've done mid semester. Yeah test and everything but it was too late yeah but we, we both studied <laughs> um estate management for five years which we enjoyed we enjoyed it and, and we, and yeah. we enjoyed the people we enjoyed, not the, yeah, we enjoyed the people more than the more course, than course. so the, the people or like our customers made yes. the course bearable yes. not that it wasn't bearable but it made it so much more fun yes we loved estate management it was a five-year course and we first went, of all first of all why is it a five-year course exactly why do we waste extra one year of our life doing the same thing but we did yeah there was the one we did like two semesters so we're doing exactly the same thing for one year or the other. just that was why i had my highest cgp in, in 400 level <laughs> because, because we're doing it <laughs> It was the same thing we did. Anyways, when we finished that, we finished at the same year, served the same year. Yes. She served in Abuja, I did my service in Lagos. And we were planning to like relocate. All we knew was we wanted to relocate. We didn't know where or how it was going to happen. Embassy so started. <laughs> Embassy so The amount of rejection we chop. <laughs> US, it will not be well. <laughs> it will be well. Amen. Amen. It will leave them alone. I mean, they have a lot going on for them at the moment. <laughs> yeah, she's running as a <laughs> bullet. <laughs> so, um, we TK was the first person to like you know move ahead so, and apply to a school in um, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah. And got in as what? Yeah. So I did my master's in construction project management, Harriet Watt University, Edinburgh. Yeah. Yeah. And I came in twenty twenty one, um, February of twenty twenty one, because that well, was it's the whole Yes, it's the whole start January, but I ended up coming February, mm -hmm. in the midst of um COVID. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the I midst of <laughs> COVID, that was like the thickness of lockdown yes. that was the lockdown like lockdown. edinburgh was looking like a ghost city like and, but i was already used to it i was nobody was even going out safe yeah so i did my master's in um edinburgh construction project management but it was because uh, first of all before i chose that course mm -hmm. i was like okay I, I want to relocate to the u to the uk but i wanted something that i would be sure or like okay, have a higher job. certainty of getting a good job so i went to gov.uk and look for the job shortage. Yeah, job short. Oh. Yes, and look for job, job shortages. shortages. Yeah, and I, I was seeing something about project management. And I'm like, okay, um, what courses can I do concerning project management or construction? And yeah. I saw that I could do that. So I applied to a number of universities. I think Nottingham Trent. Um, I had a couple of other universities. I got in all of them, but Edinburgh, um, Heritage University, Edinburgh was nice so i went there so yeah went all the way to edinburgh and your course was i think two years yes yeah, so it was two years it was a two-year course with them um, internship internship but she didn't but i didn't get internship i didn't get that internship. being said i came in 2022 the following year but from the period of when she came in 2021 to when 
I I came in 2020, so we were always like talking on the phone, like yeah. giving me information about schools, about how she's settling, and so far so good. Everything she had been saying was you know positive, and I was like, I really want to do this. You know, everyone that has gone, they are all saying positive things about schooling in UK. So I did my own masters in just project management and operations management. She was in construction project, project management. management. My school was in um, Huddersfield, the University of Huddersfield. So project management and operations management. And um, she got her job first. So yeah. next on the line. So first of all, I would like to talk about when we came into the UK in 2021, what kind of jobs we did. Because most people think as soon as you come in, being that you have a BSc, you are meant to get a job job. Let me tell you. So first of all, TK. Yeah, <laughs> first job I got in this place because even even like I don't know what I was doing wrong. Even like Tesco, working in grocery store, I was not getting no job. First thing I did was okay, no problem. I know how to make it. Let me look for salon. I saw like, salon on my streets. I see them again. Ah, oh, those people. I learned a lot of things from the woman, but I was yeah. uh, well, you less than money. She, I needed money. I did not knowledge. come here to be making hair. I didn't. I didn't come here to Cambridge. So. I, was, I had to leave there, but I think at that time I then I got a job with Max and Spencer's. No, bro, you were a cleaner. Oh no, <laughs> you were a cleaner. <laughs> so no, no, it was after Max and Spencer that I started oh, cleaning. Okay. So I now got job with Max and Spencer's. So I said no problem. Now we wore our uniform, go night shift. And you, you need to say you're you working in the freezer. No, yeah, not that you think you are working and selling no, clothes no, like you are the no, no. bro. No. She was in the Actually, freezer. I did not. I think it was room. it was more of a choice because me, I wanted what I, I didn't want to have it around on people. Oh yeah. I was like, I'm not here to be smiling. I just the one that will give me the most money, night shift, work. Um, what they call it. Warehouse, nice warehouse. So I was working in the food section of the Max and Spencer's, but M&S food. M- 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 um, food. But I have to go into the freezer. Like every night, I would go into the freezer and get things from inside the freezer to stock up the shelves in the fridge. So mm-hmm. and this was I came in winter. I still need that freezer to be, to be shelves. To be honest, shelves. <laughs> but to be honest, if you have a skill like. Like if you have a um, like a handwork, not even handwork. I mean, if you have like a like a digital skill, like web design and the rest, oh. you should pick up all those skills because you may not have to do what we did. If you have the digital skill, that you can start getting you, trying UI to, UX. Yes, get trying to find like clients because there are many people that have. Um, like and on Fiverr, yes. on Fiverr, all those things. Yeah. yeah, on Upwork and the rest. Oh yeah, Upwork. Yes. If you can learn all those skills, you when you come here, you see, you can still take your yes. clients here Client. to wherever you want. So you may not have to do that. Be uh, the only skill I have is hand hair. Yeah, that was the only one I had. It's not also learning all those things. But if you have those ones, you don't need to do. But my own journey, I did um, hair. I did Max and Spencer's. Next thing they sacked me for Max and Spencer's. It yes. was a seasonal. It was a seasonal. Uh, yes. So, it was so they employed they back. employed me during um, Christmas time when they need more people. And so after Christmas, the whole sales went down. So they don't need more people. So it was yeah, reasonable. It was so seasonal. I left no problem. Next thing I went to do Indeed Flex at Clean Hotel Tire. I say make you already brother. They know my name. They even <laughs> asking whether I want to come join them. <laughs> I had already got my offer letter from this job I, I was I'm, I'm working in now, but because I was a cleaner, a cleaner they said as I was there, I said, it's not yeah, cool. I, that's one thing I'm going to say. Whatever your hand, hand fight to do, fight to do, just do, do it well. well. Yes, because it's not about that uh, the fact that you know this is not what you want to do, and uh, you know I might just well do it for the money. It's not just that you actually have to do it well because. That way you are learning, people are watching you, they can um, refer you for something else. Mm-hmm. Me, when I came in, <laughs> I didn't even bother looking for any... It's, I think I spent just one week looking for like a 9 to 5 job or something mm-hmm. of that manner. After some time, I went to start looking for care jobs. As bad as it is, I couldn't find any care job. What What next? I started looking for support, like anything, clean up, see, bro. Then somebody now gave me a number to call. When I called, the, the person on the phone was like, there's no other job except the domestic staff and a kitchen porter or like a kitchen assistant. 
I'll put the picture Where up somewhere. Where is domestic stuff? Domestic stuff, you'll be laying bed in care home. Oh, you'll be okay. laying bed. So you in you okay. clean, like carry the laundry to the laundry room. Okay. Do this, do that. Just, you know, mm. every other thing mm-hmm. the carers can do. Okay. You will do it, mm-hmm. which was a lot of work. So I chose the kitchen for that because obviously I like the kitchen. Mm. I, I like to cook. And, bro, when I tell you my hands were peeling from washing plates, mm. imagine you go every morning, wash plates from. Um, eight to eight, ten hour shifts. You wash plates. My hands were literally peeling, and it was my sister that was like, "Are you all right? <laughs> Better start coming to Liverpool and come here now." And you know, she was going to help me find a job, like really actually settle me down in Liverpool. In my mind, I was still I'm a big girl. I can handle it. You can do. From that um place I was washing, they were about to like employ me because. I was actually washing the plates, we were mopping the floor, doing everything where once you drop pots inside the sink, I've washed it. Mm. They are about to employ me. I was like, bro, I'm moving to Liverpool dear. Not now. <laughs> so I moved to Liverpool and we I started working as a support worker, which is still what I am doing now. One thing I'm going to say again is do not ever job shame anybody, especially in this UK. All of us together are collecting it's the same, same, same pound sterling. We're, se- we're <laughs> collecting the same minimum wage there. Yeah. Except you're working like, you know, one construction site where they pay you like 15 pounds per hour, fine. But my dear, the cleaner on the road, the everybody is here, we're collecting it. Even if we're not collecting the same money, why should you be job sharing anyone? It tells so much of your character. Yeah, so th- those are the jobs we did to survive in the UK in the meantime. We both had bigger pictures in mind. And as soon as we were moving close to graduation, we started with our application of a um, proper, proper job because obviously we are graduating, we'll be able to handle the nine to five properly. So, um, when did we start applying? And that's then... that, that question is the most important question. You don't have to wait until you have you are writing dissertation on the masters to apply for job. No, is that one is Nigerian way of doing things? No. <laughs> As in me, immediately I entered. That February I entered. I started calling the career team in my in my university because the career team is there to help you. Yeah. If you don't talk to them, no, they don't know you. There are millions you know, of you students. Know, yeah. You all have one in your uni. Yes. Look if, for them. Look for them. Go to your university website. Go to career or students career or something like that. You will find it. I started calling that because I knew that my masters needed internship. So it was construction project management with placement yeah. and the placement you are the one in my university I was the one that was supposed to find the placement by the way this was my first actual job that I had to, if I had never had CV <laughs> I know I had no CV so this was my first actual job that I was um, like actually applying for so at that time I was just getting all the information I needed but once I understood the fundamentals of all, all my modules I started writing my CV and I was like oh um, I have I have this skill in, skill in this in, com, um, in line with all my modules and then sometimes they'll give you like group work to do which is like simulation of what you do in the office which is actually real, yes. real world so you yeah. write you have that experience because it is still human beings you are still talking to when you're working in the office you still talk to human beings so you write that in your cv and send because they know they know when students are out and those those companies have yeah. a cycle of employment yes they're not working you're not working based on your time you're working based on the company's time okay um for my job i think i said i like at least six to seven months to when i was supposed to finish i, I was supposed to finish december so middle of the year i started applying In july yes June. yes yeah. so what i, I used um grad cracker which is for stem jobs which i really recommend to everybody i'm going to do a video on that oh sorry later on mm-hmm. no 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 it doesn't matter mm-hmm. but they don't i don't think anybody understands when you see grad cracker stem jobs and oh, okay that, yeah okay so i went to i started applying like mid- like i gave myself six months or so at that time i don't know what cycle the job cycle was about like i know that i have to do it in as in as soon as possible don't wait until you do the dissertation that time you are doing the dissertation it's already too late actually where are doing the dissertation it's already too late i've already finished getting people for that time you have to now apply for the next um site yeah the next yeah oh, that is the next the stage. next year so be applying you go to job sites and be looking for first of all indeed that is on your phone delete it <laughs> daily delete it really why Bro, I didn't first of them. all, yeah. first of all, there are scammers on it. Did. Okay. I just tell you one time that I got, I thought I got the job, but no, they wanted me to be doing door to door marketing, sales person, and they wrote like a project manager there. Like, why the deception? 
That's that's deception. It's a scam it to is, me. It's, a it's scam. fraud. I had to report the job because I was furious. Like, why would you raise my hopes up high? I didn't even get any call back. Oh, I actually did get a call back. Anyways, when I started applying for the jobs, thanks to my darling TK, she did the groundwork for me. <laughs> she knew when I was supposed to start applying, where I was supposed to apply to, the companies I was meant to apply to, the same way she did for like unis. I just got like the <laughs> blue finish <laughs> work from TK to apply to uni. I got the finished research, you know, work from how to apply and how to go about it that being said it doesn't mean like she applied for me no but she just gave me information information is key he. so she introduced me to grad cracker she introduced me to how i was going to style my application the questions um they want to sorry what they want you to say like during, when interview. They, during your interview um, what they want to see and you also have to be somebody that is very teachable you have to be someone that is able to unlearn and you must possess some certain soft skills to be a project manager. Number one, which we don't play with, is good oh, communication. communication. Oh, okay. Yeah, you must <laughs> be able to communicate in depth because communication is key when you're a project manager. And like the second most important one is like teamwork because yes. you are always working, working with people. In a team. So they want to know how you are when you are with people and how you handle conflict and all that. Mm -hmm. So I applied on see before I even applied on Grand Kaka, before I took Grand Kaka seriously, I was applying on other places. When I knew that, you know, I I have finished, I have uh, come to the end of my life with all those places, I now faced Grand Kaka mm -hmm. and applied like my life depended on it. Because it was almost to the end of the cycle. Meanwhile, some jobs have cycle when they begin their um, application process towards the end of the year for September intake as he graduates. Mm -hmm. Some jobs have um, winter intake, that's like January and February. Mm -hmm. Their own application is most times open throughout the year because they have September and, you know, yes. April intake. But most companies, and I mean like the big companies that you see, JP Morgan, Deloitte, the big four, the banks, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, even Meta, they all go to Grad Kaka to look for graduates that will join them, yes. you know, as this, a, an entry level sort of thing. Yes. And most of them, they do it once a year. So if you miss this cycle, you have to wait till the next year. Mm -hmm. When I knew my life was almost over was in like February, March. Eh? When it was almost September and most companies will be closing. They've already got seen who is going to work for them in September by at most April. They already know who is coming in. That's when I took it seriously. And I kept saying to myself, I just need one interview. I just need one interview. Yeah. She got well, her actually job through one Yeah, yeah. She, we applied to so many places. At, at least, at least 70 applied to. At least. Every day I come back from Max and Spencer's angry. We, it was, like, they, down, it was like a second <laughs> job. Once you finish your first job, yes, you, come you come home back and resume. With the anger from the other with job. The anger of, you know, you if apply. somebody pissed you off or if you had a bad day at, job, at work, is yes. that film you will yes. use and to press apply. computer. It to give you the motivation. <laughs> 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 I applied to over 70 jobs. Like, those are the ones that are actually that's yeah, just on grad cracker. So on grad cracker, apply to those ones. It's not like you are doing this. It's not like you are doing like and spreading it across. So. No, 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 no. Behind. But now you have ChatGPT. So, oh sorry. <laughs> I'm not saying it. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that ChatGPT can land in trouble. If you especially especially if, yourself. So, no, no, no. Um, especially if you know they select application with the computer. Mm -hmm. So. What is ChatGPT going to tell you that those people don't have on their own system already? You know, it's like the same whatever. That's why you have to actually have said. But we we didn't even really know we it. Didn't have it. We, we, know, we didn't even have it at that time. We didn't have it at that yes. time. So, so you have to sense. you have to apply um like specific for each job. So I had I applied to over 70 jobs with my whole chest. Mm -hmm. And then the first interview that I did, my first interview in my whole life was my job. You don't need to mention the company. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. So <laughs> 
the first and only interview. The first and only interview. Yeah. Yeah. Can cancel the Not that those other ones didn't reach out to her, but yeah. it was later on, and, and so, this one is better than the other one already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Even me, I was using so much energy to apply to her own company, mm. and you know they gave me. Yours is still was still in the same kida. Like your company and my company are no, my company is higher than your Maybe, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, <laughs> big girl. Hey, hey can't the money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're both to the same like construction project management, um, yeah. construction yeah. yeah, project management. So we we all know, you know, our companies know. We, know, we, we do co- more, more a lot of collabs. We even do collabs. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. We do. Anyways, we had applied, and you know, it's the same story for me to my first interview hey, was you know contest clean, man. but I use her help again. I use that's why your circle is very important. Your circle See. matters. See who are the people in your circle? Are they helping you towards your future? Are they like motivating you towards that goal you are looking at? TK is a project manager. Tito is a project manager. Damola is a project control assistant or project control consultant or whatever it is. My friend Esther is a product manager. So all of them all together, they were all professional. So I was just you know taking bits and pieces of their brain and yes. putting it together. They were See, letting me know what you know the interview was going to be. This get. thing she's saying now is very if, when you're coming to new, whatever country you're going to, yeah, is the most important thing because the people, the people that you know, the people that you know, they will only give you advice based on what they know. They it's not like they have anything against your future, no. <laughs> they will just it's what they know that they're going to tell you with their full chests. So if you meet somebody, I, I'm not job shaming anybody, but if you meet somebody that's not in the same job that you want to go to, it's if the, if they're let's say you meet only nurses, yeah. they will tell you how to be nurses. Yeah. Or if you meet project managers, healthcare assistants, yes, they will tell you how to, cats. and they will tell you with your full, their full, full chest. Yeah, because that's meet, what they know. Yeah, and out of concern and love for you, they're going to tell you that. So you have to find people that are in line with what you want. When you're in universities, when you're supposed to be making those kind of friends. Yeah, that, that's what yeah, I was so saying. She was the one that like polished my whole um, presentation because I did and say, yeah, if you see the stage of interview with you, well, how many stages did you do? Oh, but I know the stage of your interview because I applied to your place like crazy. Yeah. You first of all write essay, why you want to join, what you'll be doing when you join them. Mm-hmm. So they want to know if you are wasting your money mm-hmm. and time. You will now, like, you first of all do an application first. Yes. You will now see if you can apply. Mm-hmm. You know, like, if you can write English language, if you can write English language, <laughs> that that's the yeah, then you now do interview. Yes, that's your own. and that was a, that was it. Yeah, my own was more than her own because first of all, you apply, they will now assess it and mm-hmm. see if they want you to move further. If you mm-hmm. passed, when the second stage is um, an assessment, your camera will be on, your phone, your um, speaker will be on, so they want to see if you are the one doing the assessment, if you are getting any help. I didn't even bother. Because once your camera is on, what else? What else do you do? They catch you. That's that right. Yeah. So I did the assessment with my camera on, everything on, and uh, the next stage was. Um, I don't know. You do another a mini presentation with the camera, but it's recorded. Mm, so they'll okay. ask you a question. You answer the question. They'll record it. That that's the third stage, and then you wait. You see that waiting game. If you know how to fast, you fast. If you know how to pray, you pray. If you know, if, if you know any mountain, only okay, you will go there. If you know any river, <laughs> wash your hands. If you know any pastor, you will go there. If you know a mom, you will go see yeah. any prayer you can do, just be doing it. I'm not trying to say it's that difficult, but it's very competitive. Yeah. So for them to pick you, why are you standing out? Mm. Then the next stage was the interview stage, which we had like a, a Zoom, a Teams call, like talking just discussing see eh? another thing teamwork you it's have to work. discuss you know they say iron sharpens iron you cannot be rolling with rubber and you're a knife you will cut the rubber and you know you remain a blunt knife even though a blunt knife can cut the rubber so we all were discussing i did my presentation for them they were like okay this is good i was timed and uh, during that interview you do your presentation that was like the final stage mm. and that's the time you know 
we went on hunger strike because we were begging God. Oh my God, I was so happy to receive uh, this. I think it, 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 I was, yeah, I was this so job is ticket's job. job. <laughs> she's, she's, um, she's, this job is ticket's job. Because I was so happy to receive that. <laughs> it's job. almost like she was the one that you know got the job. Ah no, but that thank God that's passed. So uh, next, um, whatever was how we were able to convince our managers oh. or our interviewers that you know, we're good for this job and that <coughs> it is us you pick. So how did you ace your interview? Well, I was lucky to have people to do a mock interview for me. Yeah, and the same way I did. Yes, the same way I was doing her own mock interview. It was just by the grace of God because the person that did my second mock interview. It was a client that was I was making her hair, and but she saw my my board mm. of me different job applications, applications and the processes, and she was like, oh, "Are you applying for job?" This girl, her husband. I think applying for job is a job itself. It, it's a full skill, and I had zero of that skill. It was because of my placement, like getting job my placement, that made me have the skill for my actual graduate job. So this girl now, so this girl's husband is like one of the head in Sainsbury's worldwide. And I showed her, oh, her husband can do this for me. I said, she said, you know her husband first. But she said, no, 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 that the husband, he likes to do this kind of thing. I called, um, I gave her my number, and then he set up the whole thing. So I sent him the the invitation for the interview, because he has a lot of information, that that invitation for interview, because they'll tell you who your interviewers are going to be. They'll tell you um, what what medium they're going to do the interview. It's, if it's I think it's points-based. Like, it's your interview points-based. I, th- I think it would be bad, you know, who know about yeah. that. I-, I just went and looked for like the likely questions that I'm going to ask interview. And answer every, and answer every, every single thing. Mm-hmm. And personal- personalize it. So um, so I did a mock inter- interview with him and then I did mock interview with somebody else so that is, uh, that's working in the UK. I, to be honest, let me be honest with you, I cram my answers because this was my first interview in my no, life. No, I cram my answers too. I, I didn't cram, cram but Like, you, I was very familiar with yes. it. But do you know I still froze during my interview? <sighs> I still froze. It took me like 15 seconds before I got mm, like the, a, the train of thoughts I mm. had and just continued. But the moment they asked me, I didn't know what, to, what I was me, saying. Me, I was again. rapping during my interview. Like, I was like, what, what is the name of any rapper? <laughs> Eminem. Uh, I was like that person. I was, <laughs> I was, even then they were like, calm down. I said, hey, let me put calm down like three times. I said, no, 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 no. What is my head? If I don't give you now, you forget about it. <laughs> me, I, 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 me, I always talk slowly most of the time. Especially when I'm talking with them. Even see, I'm All talking now. People. I'm talking like I'm rapping. No, I, I always make sure I talk slowly. It's so, really good. So you can hear the word. You don't have to speak for me. You please, just have to pronounce. Please don't. <laughs> you just have to pronounce the word correctly. Yes. Yeah, and at this point, I am actually learning with like a like an English tutor. Like oh, really? she's teaching me how to pronounce it's not like we don't know how to speak English, do you get? Mm. But we need, we don't know how to pronounce words correctly. Mm. For now, say the word um vocabulary. Vocabulary. Most people say vocabulary. Oh. Yeah, so you need to know like where the stress is mm. and how to pronounce those words. Vocabulary. Yeah. Something like that. So now she's teaching me how to pronounce words correctly, how to make presentations mm-hmm. and you know, just good communication skills. Yeah. So I always make sure normally I can talk fast if I want to, yeah. but when I'm speaking with other people, you know, and you're in another country with another accent, I just speak. Yeah, actually I think you normally speak. So like you, even when I watch your YouTube videos, like yeah, yeah, yeah you ch- me, I rap. It's, it's a family thing. <laughs> I, I talk really fast. It's a family thing. You rap in my family, so it's actually really good. This is actually a very good tip to reduce my pace. Because even during my presentations too, uh, my, my managers have told me to yeah to. But during my interview. I was properly rapping and they were like, calm down. I said, nah, I am talking. <laughs> I can't come. I can't come. I was talking pro, 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 pro. Everything. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but the main thing is because as project manager.